Good morning and welcome to the Church of Seven Soul. Today we are going to talk about the mercifulness of God. How God can have mercy on us even when we don't deserve it. There are lots of people out there who have given themselves to the devil, who no longer pay heed to the words of God. I say unto you today that God will forgive you if you are willing to come back to his kingdom regardless of your iniquities. I know the church has been monetized so much so that when people talk about the words of God, they talk about money and how much they can give to the church or what the church is requiring of them. I know churches out there have become mega churches at the expense of the congregation who sometimes can barely afford three square meals a day. That is not how God intended to be worshipped. That, how, that is not how God wants to be worshipped. God wants to be worshipped in truthfulness without the monetization of his worship. Without the monetization of the Holy Spirit. Without the monetization of the church. So I say unto you today, if you are giving half of your earnings or half of your paycheck and you are paying huge tithes and you are thinking, oh yes, I'm doing the work of, the God, of God. I say unto you today, you are not. If you do not believe in, the God, in God, if you do not believe in God or you are not doing the things that God will want you to do, if you continually lie against your fellow man, if you continually try to push your fellow man off his pedestal, if you continually work against your fellow man, if you continually try to pull down your fellow man, I say unto you, you are not doing the work of God. Because that is not God's way. God's way is love. God's way is peace. God's way is oneness. God way is togetherness. God way is helping one another. For those of you who have chosen to be wicked, who have chosen to be wicked, who have wickedness in your soul, I say unto you, the Lord is waiting for you to return so that your wickedness can be cleansed off of you, so that your wickedness can be shredded can be taken off your psyche so in today's reading we are going to read the book of Psalm 57 and it says have mercy on me O God have mercy on me for in you, my soul, my soul takes refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. I cry out to you, O oh God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He sends from heaven and saves me. Rebuking those who hardly pursue me. That says his love and his faithfulness. I am in the midst of lions. I lie among ravenous beasts. Men whose teeth are spears and arrows. Whose tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. The spread a net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path. 
but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is steadfast, O oh God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake, my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O oh Lord, among the nations. I will sing of your I will sing of you among the people. For great is your love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Glory be to the God, the words of God. So my brothers and sisters, my fellows, human beings, I say unto you today, God sees your wickedness. God sees your evil ways. God sees everything you do. He said the wages of sin is death. But that death can be prevented if you are willing to come to him. For he will rescue you. He will redeem you. He will give you righteousness. He will give you salvation. But you got to come to him with a clear spirit, with a clear mind. And to that God be the glory of this service today. Folks, be blessed and trust in the Lord. For there is nothing the Lord cannot do. There is nothing out there that the Lord cannot do. Thank you so much for worshiping with us today. You have a great Sunday.